In this video, we're going to see how we can add population or any other data in our attributes table. So I have two maps, identical maps open here. One is in the park area that also has the population data on its attributes table. As you can see here, this is the same, uh, this is the same file that we have created previously. And then I have another file opened here that does not have the population data on it. As you can see, it has no population data, but it has area. And then we have the shape area as well here. I don't know the units of it. So we're not going to be using any of the data from here. What we're going to be using is just the name here. So I have applied curl path mapping uh, on this file using the name. As you can see, it holds the name as colors. And then I have uh, applied the same color for the population of each individual country. For example, for the population of Bangladesh, I have also added the green color, same as this one, so that the maps are identical. And as you can see, they're actually uh, right above one another. That means the uh, the georeferencing is also identical. Okay, so what are we going to do now? We're going to move to our layout view. There we go. There we have our layout view. Now uh, let's zoom it. As you can see, it has zoomed too much. Another thing is when you're in the layout view, you can use this layout tab here. As you can see the layout tab, if you use the zoom in and zoom out option of the layout tab here, then you can zoom in and zoom out of the workspace of the layout tab without changing the map scale. And then you can also use the pen to move the uh, layout as well. If you don't know how to bring the layout tab and if you don't have it here as you are new or if you are a new beginner, then you will not have it. What you can do is do a right click there and then from here you can look out, look for the layout tab. Here it is. You can turn it on or what you can do is you can go to customize and then go to toolbars and the same uh, pop-up menu will pop up and from there you can select on layout and once layout is here you can place it wherever you want just place it there and do a double click on it there you go and it has been added to your works surface now that we have our map ready here what we're going to do is we're going to do the initials we're going to put in the initials before i do that let me pen it now the pen i just use is this pen actually there we go. This is the pen that I use to move the layout around. Layout around. You can, as you can see, if I take this pen, it does not move our layout, but it will move our map. But this pen allows us to move around our layout. Okay. Now, I don't need to manually select it. I just uh, pressed on the scroll button of my mouse. I did not scroll it. I just pressed on the button to activate the pen. There we go. If I let it go, it's gone again. All right. So at first, let's give it a title. Let's give it, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just giving it a simple title. And it looks like our title has gone somewhere above. Let's bring it to where we need it. Then we're going to insert the north arrow. Let's choose just anyone. There you go, we have the north arrow ready here. And what I want, I want to move the map a bit more higher. Ah, there we go. Now let's insert the scale bar. This is the scale bar of my choice. That's why I use it often. And uh, to move it up, I'm going to keep the north arrow up. There we go. Now let's zoom in here. There you go. Now that I have zoomed in, now we're going to insert the legend. Let's go to legend. Now, as you can see, we have uh, two legend items here, the Indopak area and the Indopak without the population. So we're going to keep the two. Now let's uh, change the size of the column. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. So let's go to next. And this is what it is going to be. Make it like that. And for border, I don't want any borders because I'm going to be doing the graphics customization here. Now let's go next, next, and we don't want any of it. There we go. It's here. As you can see, it is showing us the name and the population. First of all, let's make it a bit smaller so that it fits. There you go. Now to me, it looks uh, pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click, convert to graphics, and then I'm going to ungroup it. Now that it's ungrouped, now let's bring the, sorry about that. Let's just choose the legend writing here, bring it on the center like that. Now on the Indopak area, 
uh, we don't we just need the Indo Park area right in here there we go and I don't need this I'm just going to delete it there we go now we don't need the all other values as well I don't want the all other values here as well I'm just going to delete I'm just selecting them and then I'm pressing on the delete button on my keyboard to delete them now we have the name and the population here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the multiples uh, together to do that I'm just pressing on the control button and then selecting them now they're selected at all together there we have the population let's set up the population here now let go of the click and then we're going to be pressing the control button while we select these as well but let's, let's go there we go now we move it around we have the name here there we go the name of the countries and the population of the countries now except population you can bring out any other data as well you can bring out rainfall or whatever data you want to bring out I just let go of the selection using the escape key on my keyboard now another fun thing is because we took the population from this file if I uncheck this file sorry it's been turned into graphics let me show you what happens if we do not turn it into graphics bring out the legend next 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 finish there we go we have the legend here for population and name so when i uh, uncheck this one as you can see the population data is gone from the legend as well okay so it is a good idea to uh, you know convert the legend into graphics and then i can uncheck this one so now we can just uh, export this map with the name and the population of it here you can do it for uh, rainfall data you can do it for anything you want to do it for so let's just export it and see how it looks export map uh, i'm exporting it as a pdf let's call it indo park popu let's save it there you go it is saved now let's go and have a look at it so here is our Indo Park Popu let's go here we have our mapping with the name and the population as well where the green color is representing Bangladesh as well as the green color is representing uh, the population of Bangladesh here and then we have the same for India and Pakistan now as you can see the orientation is a bit different now Pakistan is in the beneath right here but in this case Pakistan is in the middle so I missed that we can we can fix that also since it is in the uh, in the graphics mode we can just select it there you go bring it down bring it up and bring it back again there there you go let me check another thing do a right click there and then we have alignment options now I'm going to align them let's say align to left and as you can see they're again aligned at the same level so that is how you can use the graphics option you can move around these things and you can also align use the alignment and this is how you can uh, put in more data in your legend so I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you very much for watching. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.